One of the ways that we measure the acidity or basicity of a solution is by its pH. pH is defined as the negative log base 10 of the H3O plus concentration in an aqueous solution. The greater the concentration of H3O plus, the lower the pH. The pH scale is based on a principle introduced in the last video, that the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus is equal to Kw, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, in any aqueous solution. If we take the negative log of both sides, we see that the pH plus the negative log base 10 of the OH minus concentration must always equal 14. This value we call pOH, so pH plus pOH equals 14. When the concentrations of H3O plus and, H and OH minus are equal, they both must be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. We say that the solution is neutral and it has a pH of 7. Of course, it also has a pOH of 7. The greater the concentration of H3O+, plus, the lower the pH, and correspondingly the smaller the concentration of OH-, minus, therefore the higher the pOH. In common practice, the pH scale goes from about 0 to 14, with low pH solutions being highly acidic, and high pH solutions being very basic, or alkaline. So how do we calculate the pH of a solution? We use ice tables. If we know the concentration of a particular acid or base, and we know it's Ka or Kb, or pKa or pKb, we can calculate the equilibrium concentration of H3O+, and therefore the pH of the solution. Let's take, for example, a 0.85 molar solution of chlorous acid, HClO2. This acid has a pKa of 2.0, so its Ka is 10 to the negative 2.0, or 1.0 times 10 to the minus 2. The reaction that defines this equilibrium constant is this, and the expression for the Ka is the concentration of ClO2 minus times the concentration of H3O plus divided by the concentration of HClO2. Since we omit water from the equilibrium expression, we can ignore the concentration of water in our ice table. We know the initial concentration of HClO2. That's the given value of 0.85 molar. We assume then that the concentrations of products are at zero initially. As the reaction proceeds toward equilibrium, some HClO2 reacts, minus x, to form ClO2- and H3O+, both plus x. At equilibrium, the concentrations are 0.85 minus x, x, and x. So we plug these values into the equilibrium expression. Rearranging and using the quadratic equation to solve for x, we find that it equals 0.0873. Since x is the concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium, we can use that value to calculate the pH. The negative log of 0.0873 is 1.059 or 1.1, a pretty acidic solution. The calculation of the pH of a base solution follows the same pattern, but often requires you to use two additional relationships that we've already discussed. First, for a conjugate acid-base pair, Ka times Kb equals Kw. So even if you aren't given the Kb or pKb of the base you're interested in, you may be able to find the Ka or pKa of its conjugate acid, because pKa's are much more commonly tabulated than pKb's. Second, we usually end up calculating the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide when we're working with a base, so you often need to use the relationship pH plus pOH equals 14 to help you determine the pH of a base solution.